Hey guys, how's everybody doing out there? It's Sherman here. And this has been a very highly requested review and one that I've been excited to do for a while. But as usual, I like to, or I wanted to have some experience with this product before giving you guys a review. So I could tell you some pros and cons that I have found with this product. This is the Fantastic Maxpedition Sitka S-Type Gear Slinger. Now S-Type just means that it is designed to be carried uh, on the left side of your body. Typically the strap would go over your right shoulder with the gear slingers. Now that is just my preference. The Sitka, it's just the Sitka, it doesn't say anything, is designed for right side carry and the strap would go over the left side, over your left shoulder. And uh, that's the terminology used in a lot of Maxpedition products. The S-Type is for left hand carry uh, over your right shoulder. So, not a lot of reviews of the S-Type, but there is absolutely no difference between this Sitka and the, the right hand carry Sitka. It's just a matter of preference. Now, for more information of this product, or if you're interested in buying this product or any other fa fantastic Maxpedition pieces of gear, uh, go to www.maxpedition.com. Now, first I'm going to go over the uh, dimensions of this bag and the pockets, as I like to do with um, these gear reviews. Um, but first, I just want to say that I have made a few minor modifications to this bag to fit my personal needs. Um, and I'll go over those modifications as the video progresses and explain why I made them. All right, so first you have this front top pocket right here, which is four inches high by seven and a half inches wide by three inches in expansion. So you can see that it can really expand. And also you have this internal slip pocket, which is the same length and of course, you know, the same height as this pocket, four by seven and a half. And you also have these um, three little bungee straps in here for keeping your stuff really organized. And um, those are two and three quarter inches wide. Each of those are two and three quarter inches wide. So that, to keep in mind um, what kind of stuff you can put in here. Um, most cell phones will fit here, walkie talkies. Um, I know Leatherman's will fit in there as well. But I just want to throw that out there in case there's something specific you wanted to put in there so now you know exactly how big it is. All right, these two front pockets right here, they are both eight inches high by seven and a half inches wide by two inches in depth. So you have right here what Max Expedition calls their anti-theft strap. So you have that pocket about two inches deep. Like I said, it is eight inches high by seven and a half inches wide. So that's a, a really good sized pocket inside. You have that pocket with an internal slip pocket. You have two internal slip pockets actually. And then the main compartment is 15 inches high by eight inches wide by three inches thick. But I really think this thing can expand a little bit more than three inches, but you can see there at the bottom, how it has that nice squared off shape. So you can see how that can really expand. And then you have these internal mesh pockets right there with the back slip pocket. And then you have two smaller slip pockets right there. Now, like most Maxpedition products, this entire bag is made of a 1,000 denier ballistics nylon, um, which is abrasion resistant, water resistant, and dirt and grime resistant. So it has a triple coating of polyurethane. It's a DuPont coating, and that really keeps uh, this bag clean and water resistant. Uh, I've had this bag in the rain a lot, and nothing. It, the, the rain just rolls right off of this bag. And uh, there are a few videos of people, such as uh, Such on here, who's another excellent reviewer, uh, pours cups of water over these bags, and it just falls right off. It doesn't even absorb. So refer to those videos if you want to see that, that kind of testing. Um, also, if you get kinds of dirt on here, it generally just wipes right off, no problem whatsoever. Because this is a rugged outdoor bag, so you're going to lay it down. It's going to get dirty. And uh, it wipes right off. Uh, it's going to be abrasion resistant, so if you get some, if you get this bag caught on something, it's not going to rip. Um, so no worries about that. 
Uh, for cleaning instructions, the things that do not wipe right off, uh, this is you cannot machine wash these. So what you can do is just take a little bit of light soap and some hot water and scrub any kind of dirt or whatever off of this bag. So no worries there. All right, let's get to the overall construction and everything on this bag. Now you're going to notice right off the bat it does have this what's called a Y compression strap because you can see it resembles a Y. Now what that does is that you can tighten this down and it just compresses everything in this bag. So if you're carrying a lot of stuff in this bag uh, that will keep it more secure than if you didn't have it. You also have a Duraflex polymer D-ring down here on the bottom. But um, here's how it connects. It's just a simple construction. So you can um, make this expand or you can tighten this up depending on how much gear you have in this bag. And then it tightens at the bottom as well. Now, what I do is I, I took mine off because I don't carry that much stuff in mine. So it's very easy to do. You just, I mean, it's super, super simple to put back on. Just throw it in this bag. But I'm going to take it off for the purpose of this video so it doesn't get in the way. But it also has a side release buckle for ease of access, which is also Duraflex. So that is one modification I made to mine. I just took mine off. Um, I'm going to start with this front top pocket right here. It does have a nice loop field, and the loop field itself is, th th this front part right here, is four and a half inches long by two inches high. And uh, that'll help you get uh, some patches for it, help you get an idea of what kind of patches. You have this X patterned um, bungee strap right here, or shock cord, whatever you want to call it, uh, to secure down water bottles. It's meant to actually secure flashlights. So, um, I believe one, uh, or a few viewers have heard call it um, a torch loop, I think it was called, uh, because it's meant to hold a flashlight. You can also, it has a channel back here, which you can hold things, small flashlights or tubular bottles of some sort, front and bottom. And inside there as well. Can't get to that side because the patch is right there. <laughs> so you can store small items inside there if you want to secretly hide some money in there or any kind of tubular objects or whatever. You know, get creative, guys. All right, so you have two zippers, which is nice. You can mount them any way you want, so you can open it whichever way. I just keep mine mounted on the side. So this bottom zipper comes down to there. And this is how it's going to open diagonally. Now. As I said, this is a gear slinger, so keep in mind that this bag is meant to be worn and then slung around your body this way, or actually, I'm sorry, this way. So if you're going to have it up against your chest, like say this is up against somebody's chest, and they're reaching in and grabbing something, if it were to open like a, like a standard backpack pocket, it would open pretty much like this. And you know that kind of limits you, so it opens diagonally so you can access things as you're carrying it on your chest, which is nice. But at first glance, it might seem kind of odd. So you have this nice slip pocket right here, carrying um, bigger things. And then you have these little uh, bungee straps here for carrying smaller objects securely. I usually have a flashlight or a multi tool in here or whatnot. This is usually where I carry my items that I need to access really fast because this is an easier pocket to get to. So, it's a nice little pocket. I just keep mine together right there on the side because like I said, if I'm wearing it like this, if it's up against my chest, I can get to the zippers easily. I'm down here, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna do this pocket first. I keep the zippers over here. Here again, opens up like this pocket, it opens up diagonally. And uh, that's how far it'll open up. So, like I said, you have two front slip pockets, but it's kind of like the it's kind of like the Remora. This one is more loose, whereas this one's tighter. I uh, don't really know why. That's just kind of the construction. It doesn't really bother me. It's not a good or bad thing, really. So that's usually where I'd carry uh, my first aid kit or whatever. Maybe clip some pens on the inside of here. Um, this side I usually carry a notebook. Like I said, it's going to be like this. So it's clever here again how they designed that because this is perfectly vertical as it's carried against your chest. 
So like I said, it's just a cool design. And you also have a key keeper right here with a little ball swivel. Just like the Remora has and a bunch of other their bags. So, neat thing to keep your keys on or maybe some, some sort of cord of some sort. Um, I usually keep a small flashlight on the end of that so I can access things in here in the dark easily. So, nice pocket. It's kind of, it's actually kind of difficult to get to this bag zipper to bring this zipper forward because it's, this pocket is so close to this top pocket right here. So I usually just have to leave this zipper right there. Then while we're talking about the front, you have the Maxpedition logo right there with four PALS webbing down here. So you have two rows of four, so you have eight webbing, eight uh, PALS strips here. So you can attach whatever you want to the, the front of this pocket. Uh, which can be done so with just simply three inch tack ties. Uh, down here, just another little modification, it is just a um, Grimlock for your Molly gear. Might review that later on, but it's just a nice thing to have. It's light, you know. But anyway, this is what Max Mission calls their, their anti-theft device. Or, or, you know, it's just an anti-theft or theft deterrent. But all that this little strap does is it keeps somebody from walking up behind you and pulling the zipper down. Now, if they were really looking hard, they could just undo that, but it's kind of hard to do, actually. It'd be hard to do while that's on your back, and you're going to notice somebody doing that, so it'll give you time to react. But anyway, there's a nice little snap right there, the Maxpedition logo. It's everyday hard-use gear. Nice little button. But anyway, like I said, it's very, very secure. Pull that down. This is a this is a pocket you'd keep more personal items in, perhaps uh, a camera, your wallet, keys, different things like that. Oops, I actually forgot to take everything out. I have these two little button towels. <laughs> but anyway, you have this big pocket right here, and then it carries over to the other side right here. So you can stash things underneath that little flap, like that, such as money or whatnot. But it's a nice pocket as well and um, that can really expand. So I like that little device. You don't lose anything, but you gain something. All right, along the side here, you have this nice water bottle holder. It is meant to facilitate a 32 ounce Nalgene bottle, along with other things. You can carry a ton of different stuff in here. It's not just for water bottles. That's nice, it has a um, cord lock right here on this one side and a piece of paracord right here so you can tighten that up to carry an even smaller water bottle. Um, I don't have an algene at the moment so I usually just carry like a, I don't know, just a Dannon water bottle or something in there which is a lot smaller than a 32 ounce, it's like a 16 ounce. So that's when you'd bungee that up so your water doesn't fall out or whatever you have in here. But I know a lot of people who use these as little pockets for first aid kits or whatnot. And then along this side you have six PAL strips, each one inch apart, or three inches, however you want to look at that. So you can really attach different stuff to there. I usually carry a mag pouch on, on, on a, a set of these strips and then maybe hang a knife from another one. So it's just, it gives you a lot of good options. I really like that. Um, this side has none because of the, the water bottle. You wouldn't be able to hold, keep anything there. And, um, you also have some down here, which you can't access at the moment on mine, but I'll get to that here in a little bit. So this other side, you have this nice little handle right here, nylon handle. Uh, a lot of people will wrap paracord around there to make it more comfortable, along with another Duraflex D-ring. And here's another kind of anti-theft device. It's this little uh, paracord keeper. Now, I've never seen any videos or explanations of how this works, but I'm just going to show you how I assume this works. Uh, two different ways I do it. This is to keep your zippers from coming undone or to keep anybody from unzipping it or getting it caught on something if you're out in the woods somewhere. But you can take this, wrap it around those two pieces, those two paracord zipper poles, and just tighten that. Tighten that down and I mean there's no way those are going anywhere. Okay, so you can do it that method and uh, you also have this loop down here you can pull that forward and uh, bring the two pieces of cord up through that loop 
and then tighten it down. So two different methods. I'm not really sure which is the intended method, but either will either will work and do its intended purpose. So that's a neat that's another neat feature in my opinion because like I said, this is meant to be a backpack. You're gonna be out in the woods probably, or maybe out in public, and you don't want anybody unzipping that, or maybe you get caught on a tree branch or something. A tree limb, you don't want that to come loose. So that's a nice feature in my opinion. Also up here, you have a nice uh, foam cell, it feels like a foam cell padded handle. Very comfortable, very much like the one on the Remora. It's the exact same one. And it's very comfortable to carry around that way. So, very cool. And you also have this dummy loop right here. Now here's something with the strap that Maxpedition did that I really love. It is really heavily padded. The entire strap is padded. Everything but where it connects with the buckle. All of that is padded. So the part going across your chest and around your side. So I love that. It makes this insanely comfortable. Really allows you to load this thing up without feeling the full weight. So you also have um, two big molly straps right here, or pals, whatever you want to call it. Maxpedition logo right here, very nice. And that also acts as a um, pals webbing if you wish to carry something on that. A very nice Maxpedition carabiner style clip right here to carry whatever you want, compass, keys, flashlight, whatever. Two more strips of pals webbing here. And then you have the big warrior to reflex side release buckle which is very quiet if you care about that kind of thing doesn't really matter to me it is kind of a nice feature say if you're hunting or you know you don't really want people to hear it very quiet now this is the excess strap so you can tighten it or loosen it um, normally it has an elastic keeper down here but I brought this in so much there's no place for the keeper so I had to take the keeper off Fold this up and then take some hair ties and secure that down. But normally it has two more PAL strips right there that you can secure some gear to. But that's another modification I made so that this fits tighter around my chest because I'm a smaller guy. You know, I'm 5'9", weigh 130. So I needed that strap to be, uh, to be tight against my chest so it doesn't flop all around. So that's a modification maybe for some of you smaller guys or maybe for ladies interested in this bag. But like I said, just a slight modification. Also, something that I like is this side retention strap. I really like this little cross strap. Um, here again, some hair ties to keep that excess strap uh, from, from flopping around. You know, like I said, you're walking out in public or the woods. You don't want all this excess nylon to be slapping around. So, nice little retention strap. Here again, nice side release, very strong side release buckle attached to this piece of PALS webbing. And that keeps this bag from falling off of your person. Okay? And it also has a built-in whistle, which I've heard works really well. I have not tested it myself, though. Which uh, leads me to the back. The back is a very thick, very nice padded. Um, it's foam cell. It's closed cell foam padding. And it is very, very comfortable. It's like memory foam. That's what it feels like. And you have that nice big pad right there, there, and there. So really the two stress points, but all the rest of this is padded as well. So very, very comfortable. And then back here, you have another pocket. Two zippers, the zipper pulls. And that is to house a 100 ounce hydration bladder if you wish to carry that. And the hose would, or the straw would come up through that hole, go around the dummy loop, and then through these straps, or, and uh, so on. But you could really carry anything back there, but you want to be conscious about what it is behind there, make sure it's flat. Carry bandanas, maps, towels, garbage bags, whatever. Um, but I would recommend something flat because that's going to be pressed up against your back. All right, so that leads me to the main pocket of this backpack. And I forgot to mention this in the beginning, but all of these zippers are the same YKK zippers that are on all the Maxpedition products. Super smooth, the tracks are double reinforced. So, very, very secure, smooth zippers. 
and they all have zipper pulls. Like I said, opens up like the rest of the pockets do, diagonal. So you have two big slip pockets right there. You have a smaller slip pocket and then a bigger one. So that's kind of neat, kind of uh, separates your gear, organize, organize uh, what you need to. I always like organization in my bags. So those are those run the whole uh, width of this backpack, which here again is eight inches. And like I said, the bottom gets very square. So you can really put some things down there at the bottom. And then here you have these two front mesh pockets. And then you have another side release buckle and it is a compression strap. So you can tighten that or loosen it depending on what kind of gear you have in these two pockets. Um, kind of wish that there was two because it kind of makes it feel lopsided at times. So I kind of wish there was a second buckle right there. But, so yeah, this nice YKK zipper here again. And uh, these two mesh pockets are separated exactly like the two uh, slip pockets right here, same size dimensions. But I usually keep food down in there, different kinds of snacks and everything, and maybe some toiletries in there. So, like I said, the same dimensions as the two slip pockets here, it's just these are mesh. And which is a nice feature because when you have it against your chest, this is what you're going to be looking at. So you can automatically see what's in these two mesh pockets when this is against your chest and you're opening up your bag. So they're mesh, so they're mesh that way so you can see what's in them. And then back here you have a giant pocket with the loop field for CCW, concealed carry, concealed carry weapon, whatever. So that's nice. You can attach a bunch of different accessories for, uh, the Maxpedition also carries against there, um, such as their admin organizers or whatnot. Just look at their um, hook and loop gear line. And uh, you also have the same hook and loop system on the inside of this hydration pack for CCW to conceal carry your uh, firearm or whatnot. So you have two CCW pockets in this bag, which is a nice feature if you're into that stuff. All right guys, here's how it, it would look in a front view. And as I stated, this is the S-type. So the bag, so the strap of this bag is going to be going over your right shoulder, uh, which I prefer. I know I'm, I'm right-handed and this is designed for lefties, technically, left-hand carry, but this is how I prefer to carry. This is also how I carry my Remora. So I stick with what I'm used to. So here's how it is, here's how it looks from behind. So I like, I prefer to carry it higher, but of course you can adjust this to set real low on the back, but I prefer it to be up higher. I like the way this feels more, um, feels more secure when you're carrying a heavier loadout in my opinion. So like, as I stated, uh, I walked around different stores in this bag, um, the woods for several hours carrying so anywhere from eight to ten pounds super comfortable uh, after two hours of, of constantly walking around my shoulder was getting a little stiff um, but that could also be partially due to this is the shoulder that I have issues with so but here's how it is with the cross strap goes right there very easy you see right there you get the whistle at the ready but that's how it is and you know I can bend over no problem, the bag doesn't come close to falling off. You can see that there's really, the bag can slip slightly, but there's no way it's going to fall off of my body without me noticing it and catching it. But that's because this strap is tight against my chest. Now you can't forget about what makes this bag a gear slinger, and that is the ability to grab it. You can grab it by this handle, as stated in uh, earlier on in this review. Just grab it, sling it around. So makes this a gear slinger. Now the added advantage you have to this over another gear slinger such as the Remora or the Lunata is the ability to access the pockets from this position. So all of the zipper tracks are facing you. So let's say you're walking around in the woods and the area is damp like it is most of the time here in Georgia. Um, maybe just rained or whatever, you don't have a spot where you can take your bag off and hold it and try to dig through it or you can't set it down on the ground because it'll get wet. 
Um, this allows you to just grab your bag, sling it around, and say, oh, I need some out of this pocket. I need to get my binoculars or something. Just grab it out of this pocket. And that's another advantage to why to having these pockets open up diagonally. Uh, let's see, need some out of this pocket. You need to get a notebook or whatever. So there's your slip pockets. All easily accessible from a standing position with this bag up against your chest. And you can do this with any of these pockets, which is something that you can't really do with the Remora or the Lunata. Because these pockets are not designed like a standard backpack, which I like. Like I said, this, this allows me to be able to access my stuff without having to take my bag off, which came in handy yesterday trekking through the woods. Because I need to get to my camera or notebook, uh, band-aids and whatnot, and I couldn't set my bag down because I was walking around in a dry lake bed. And even though it was dry, it was still kind of wet. <laughs> so, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. I hope this answered some of your questions. And um, if you're interested in this product or any other piece of Maxpedition gear, visit www.maxpedition.com. And for an added 10% off, enter the coupon code at your checkout, Sherman, and that'll help you guys out a little bit. All right, guys. Have a great day. Stay safe. Stay sharp. And God bless. Sherman614. Peace.